In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and organize your Google Smart Home using your Google Home devices, Chromecast, or other compatible smart products. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. If you own a Google Home or a Chromecast device or other smart devices, make sure you hit subscribe below as my channel is all about helping you use them better. So to get your Google Smart Home set up, the first thing that you'll need to do is download the Google Home application to your iPhone or your Android device. Today, I am using the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So then here I can go and check to make sure that I'm on the proper Wi-Fi network. That looks great to me. And then we are going to go into the Google Home application. Now over here on the bottom right side of the screen, you wanna click the little people icon and make sure that you are signed into the proper Gmail account here. If you have multiple accounts, you can just select that dropdown. It will pull up the different accounts and you can choose the one you want to use. Now, if you're not seeing your account here, you could add it down here below. So everything looks great there. Now we're gonna go into the home or the very first page here. Now this is my home. So everything that I have added into my Google Home Smart Home is available right here. Now, if you don't see all of these options, that's just because you haven't added the proper supported devices. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is using your home and sharing it with others. So right here I have my home. If I wanted to share it with my wife, all I need to do is click the add right here and once I open up the ad, I can then invite a home member. So because you are the first person doing this, you would wanna make sure that all of the new smart home devices are added to your account. If you invite somebody, so here you can type in their email address, they'll be notified by email to join the home, and then they'll be able to see everything that you add into the home. If they add any smart devices to their account, once they remove themselves from your home, you won't have access to those smart home devices. So I do suggest that you add maybe the head of household or those who are the most tech savvy as the first person to add all of the smart devices. And then here you can invite all the home members you want to have control of your smart products. And then we click save. It will tell you more about inviting home members. Here it will talk about what is shared. So devices in the home will be shared, media services on Google Assistant devices. When people or devices are added, all home members receive a notification. And then here it talks about the device addresses. So all home members will be able to see and change the addresses on devices. And here you can see who is already connected to the home. And here it will show you all the devices that are connected. I only have a couple. So here I'm gonna send the invite and then whoever I added can go and accept the invitation to see all of my smart devices. So each home does have a limit of six home members. Now, if you wanted to, let's say you have maybe a family member or a separate part of your house, you could actually create a new home. So let's add a new home in here and call it basement. So this would be handy, let's say you're setting up your parents house and you want to add all of their devices into here here you can have a separate home that you have control of so here you can see that i don't have anything in this actual home it's showing some options available on my wi-fi network but if i want to change back to my regular home i just click that and i can go back home if i want to adjust the basement i could go here so if i add anything into the basement that's where it will stay. So you do have the option to move devices from one home to the other, but for now, that's all I'm gonna cover on the multiple homes. Let me know if you want to know more about that. So here, let's go back to our main home, just so you can see how that works. If this is your first time setting up any of your Google Home products like the Google Home Hub or the Google Home Mini or Chromecast device, you will want to go into the add option right here. And here you can select set up a device and here you will see the setup new devices in your home. So once you select that, you choose which home you want it to be added to, and then it will start looking for those devices and it will run you through the setup process. So if I had any plugged in and available that I haven't set up before, it would pop up on here and I could go through the setup process. Now that we've already added all of our Google devices, here we're gonna add our smart products. 
So you do need to get a compatible smart light or doorbell or a compatible smart camera. So I've used LifeX bulbs before. They work directly with your Wi-Fi network. Uh, smart Life as well. SangLED do require a hub as well as the Hue light bulbs. VSync can connect directly to your Wi-Fi network. So any of these that you want to add, make sure that you go into the application first and set up those smart devices. So now I want to go into here, into the VSync application. I have a few smart devices that I want to adjust. So here I'm actually going to change the bedroom lamp. I'm going to change the settings on here and I'm going to change the name to rainbow light. And I'm gonna go back. And then here I have the rainbow light that I'm gonna to change to Christmas tree. So I just recently moved the location of these lights so I wanna make sure that everything is accurate um, on here before I go into the Google Home application. So now those are working properly. If I'm gonna turn on the Christmas tree, I can do that. I can turn it off again right there. So now let's go back into the Google Home application. And if I have never set up VSync in here before, I'm gonna select set up a new device. Here I'm gonna select something that I've already set up so I select that and now it's gonna show me all the different options of things that I can add. So all of these applications are supported. You can actually just go in here at any time. You can search for certain brands that are supported so that you know that it will connect with Google Assistant once you connect that to your home Wi-Fi network. So I've already connected what I have set up right here. So here I have VSync, I have five devices connected. Now, if I ever go back and add something right into the VSync app, there's a command I can use to my Google Assistant that will refresh these and make sure everything's working properly. So all I need to do is say, hey Google, sync my devices. You got it, syncing devices for 10 providers. So then it's gonna go through and re-add those into this application. I don't need to go in here and unlink them and link them again. You just use sync my devices or sync my lights and that will update everything here in the Google Home application. So now if we go back to this main page, you'll see all the different devices that I've set up in different rooms. When you set up a device, it will ask which room you want it to be in. And so that is where these have all been created. So now if we go down to the bottom, you'll see this in your home. So these are all the devices that you haven't added to a specific room. So let's say this light right here called night light, I want to adjust the setting. So I just tap on it. I could turn it on and off right here. But if I want to add it to a room down here, I have the option to do that. I just select add to room. And then here it gives me the option of what room I want that in. So that is in the girl's room. I'm gonna select save. And now that will add it to the proper room. So if I go back and then I find that room, here I can see that the girl's room now has two lights and I can click on the lights here and you can see girl's lamp as well as night light. So depending on what lights you have, some of them will allow you to adjust the brightness and then some will just be an on and off switch. And then if I turn this on or off, it will change the whole room all at once. Now you can see that I have Christmas tree in here. Well, the Christmas tree is not in the girl's room. So I'm going to tap on the Christmas tree I'm gonna select the settings gear icon right up here at the top. And then here I have the name, I have what home it is, so I can change the home right here. And then here I have which room it is in. So right now I have it in the girl's room, but that is incorrect. We're going to change that to the living room and select save. Now that means there was another light that I need to add back into the girl's room. So if I go into the master bedroom here, and then look at the different lights that are available here. I do have rainbow light. So rainbow light needs to go into the girl's room. So I'm gonna select settings. Everything looks good there. I'm gonna change the room to the girl's room. So that is how you can quickly organize all the different devices that you have within your home. So I am having a problem in my office that whenever I turn on and off the lights, it says three lights could not be controlled and it gives me that notification every time. So I want to click on the office lights. Here it shows that there are 17 lights within this room. So I can go through and actually individually select these 
turning them on and off to find out which lights those would be. So I can go through and see that a few of those aren't working. Um, here, those are currently off, so it's not going to work. So I think that's one of the problems because that's not doing anything. Here we have office light three. I don't know what that one is. So I can just click on here. So and if I want to remove this from that room, I need to go into the settings here. And here I could change it to a different home or I could change it to another room in the house. So right now I'm not using the studio. So we're gonna add it there and then select save. And now it has removed that from the room. To completely remove the light bulb from your home, you would just need to go back to the app that you set it up in, remove it from there, and resync your Google Home smart devices with the sync my devices command. So I would just need to play with that until I get it so that all the lights turn on and off at the same time. Now it may be an issue where your light switch is off and some of them just aren't working because they don't have any power. So then you see that I also have my home hub right here as well as Chromecast devices. So if I wanna change the room in any of those, I can do the same thing, go to the settings here and I could go into the home or the room and change to a different room if I wanted to move them around. Now, if you ever move a Google Home from one room to the other, all you would need to do is go into the Google Home that you wanna control, go into the settings, and then you want to change the room that it's in. You don't have to go through the setup process again. You would just need to change the room in here, and then it will automatically change it so that if you change the lights on this, it will control the proper lights in the same room that it's in, or it will show up properly in other cast supported applications. Now that we have all of the devices added into the Google Home application, they're all organized into rooms, we're pretty much set up on everything I wanna do. A few other things that you can do is go back up here into the top, and if we wanna turn off all the lights in a certain room, I can just select off, and then here it's gonna pull up all the different room options. If I wanna turn on the lights, I select on, and then here it's gonna pull all those up and then I could tap one and it would turn them on. Now here, if I select add, a few more things I can do is I can create a speaker group. So a speaker group is where it will play audio on a certain group of speakers all at the same time. So a new way to do this is through a Chromecast device. Now you can't split the audio and video from a Chromecast. This will only work with music to a Chromecast. So here I have a Chromecast Ultra, a uh, Chromecast third generation, as well as a Chromecast second generation. Here I have a third party Google Assistant speaker. Here I have a Chromecast audio, Google Home Mini, Google Home Hub, Google Home Max, and then the regular the Google Home would show up here as well. So I can just tap on all of these and whatever ones I want to be added into a group. And then here I can select next. I could name it a certain group and then whenever I play music, I can ask it to play on that group and it will play music throughout the entire home, which is really cool now that you have the ability to add it to Chromecast, um, other smart displays as well. So that's one other thing you can do when you have everything set up. Here you have a few options where you could play music on all the different speakers at once, or you can broadcast a message to all of the speakers in the home. Now I do have a Nest thermostat that I've set up. So here I can go in and control my Nest thermostat, depending on if you have a smart thermostat or not. I can change the heat and everything right here. So here I have a Nest Hello, so I can select camera and it's gonna connect to that and I can see the camera right within this application. So now if you wanna find out more products that are supported, head on over here into the Accounts tab and then you're going to go into the settings and then we're gonna go into services and down here at the bottom we have what's called explore. So explore will allow you to search for different things you can use Google Assistant for. So let's say we want to see how the Roku works. So here I can search Roku and you can go through here and we find that if we wanna control our Roku device, we can open this up and here we could go through the setup and here are some of the other options we can do. Now I get a lot of questions if the Ring doorbell is supported, so let's search Ring. So here we can see Ring pops up and then right here at the top it does say, note this action does not currently support the ability to stream your Ring devices to your Chromecast 
or your smart displays. So even though you can connect Ring, it doesn't have the support like the other Nest cameras or other smart connected cameras. So then you can go through there and find other devices that would connect as well as what some of the commands are. So if I go in and search for Dbot, this is one of my smart vacuums. I can go in and see some of the commands I can use. Here it shows where you can use that. So your Google Home, your smart displays and other devices. So that is how you go through and set up and move around all of your smart home devices. Now, if you want to adjust any of these things further, you can just open the settings of the Google Home application. Here you can change your home nickname. You can see the members of your home. Here you can actually set digital well-being time so you can set it so you can't activate certain devices at certain times and play certain media on them. And then here you have your rooms, groups, and other devices. So here I have a room called backyard. I currently don't have anything in there. Here I have one called basement, Christmas. So I could add Christmas lights in there. So all I need to do is activate Google and say, turn off Christmas, and it would turn off all the lights. Here I have downstairs, entry room. So a bunch of different rooms. If I wanna remove some of these, so let's say I wanna remove my backyard, I can come in here, I can delete the room or choose specific devices I want to add. So let's say in Christmas, I wanna add a few devices. I'm gonna select choose devices, and then I can go through and select any of these that I would like to add into the Christmas category, select save. It will then pull them all into there at once. Now you can only have one light in one place at a time. You can't have that light in multiple rooms. You can only place that in one room at a time. And then down here, if I wanted to remove all of my home and start fresh, I could delete the room down here at the bottom of the screen. And then we just go back and here we are at our main home. If I go back into my basement, let's say I don't want this one, I can select the settings and then I can delete this home, delete the home. So, and then if I had anything set up in there, I could just go back into the ad and set it up into my main home, just like the other devices that I already added. Now I do wanna mention that it doesn't matter what Google Assistant device you use. So if you have a Google Home Mini, or if you use a Google Home Hub, or if you're just using Google Assistant on your phone, you are still able to control all of the smart home products that you are able to add into the Google Home application. Some of the benefits of having the Google Home Hub is I can quickly swipe down and I can turn off all the lights in a certain room just by pressing the off button right here. It will turn all those off. And then here I can press it again. It will turn them back on where with all the other Google Assistant speakers, you will need to activate by voice or you can just go into the Google Home app and do the same thing, turning them on and off. The Google Home Hub just gives you the option to quickly do that in whatever room you have this set up in. You can also turn on and off all the lights from the Google Home Hub as well, which is very convenient to do. And that is how you can quickly and easily set up your Google Smart Home. If you guys have any further questions about this process or anything that you can do with the application, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see my full playlist of other Google Home compatible products, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.